some of these are even funny. Like there were some excellent threads on the internet about people who had internet connected mattresses. Oh, the beds. Were, yes. yes, the beds. Oh my God, A-Pods. Shout out yes. to A-Pods and everyone who thought it was a good idea to buy an internet connected bed. I swear to God, this is why we don't have a single interconnected device like in our house. <laughs> it's just, you just, okay. you don't want to be that person that cannot recline. I really like that you brought this up because I felt like I, I was going to be a jerk doing it. But okay, we got to go there. We got to go there. Prince talking about these really expensive smart beds by this company called Eight Sleep. Their mattresses are supposed to track your biometric data and get hotter or cooler depending on what your body needs. They're also connected to the internet and apparently they didn't work offline. After the outage started, some of the mattresses overheated or wouldn't recline. Thinking about somebody's $2,500 internet smart bed going vertical and trying to cook them alive is kind of dystopian, but it goes beyond that. This thing took down everything from Amazon's own products like Ring Doorbells and Alexa, to sites like Reddit, to messaging apps like Signal, to government services. These outages can impact basically every part of your life. This isn't just like me being on Duolingo or me being on Snapchat, right? right. It is banking, it is the hospitals, it is education, like it is things that matter in my life, mm. that matter in everyone's life. 